What's up? I'm Richard, and this is I Am Dumb. I Am Dumb is an acronym that's D-O-B-M, Diary of a Black Man, I'm a Black Man. And this is my diary. We are, again, in the middle of a new series. A series <laughs> called Friendly Shit. I'm sorry, man, I'm super distracted. Intermission is where we're at now, and I'm super stoked about this, man. It's just kind of opportunity to, to talk about all the different stuff that I'm learning in the midst of this series, right? So friendly shit is just about being interested or being investigative, right? What does it really mean to be a friend and why are we doing it like that? And midway through, it has exposed so many things about myself. And I just kind of want to talk about it. It's my diary anyway, right? Well, a couple weeks ago, I, I was with one of my woke friends, right? Um, I like to consider myself a, as a, a pretty conscious dude, man, a big reader, definitely about what's going on in African-American culture right now, but just in world culture in general, man, I try to be woke, right? But some of my friends are more woke, and I'm sure you're familiar with those different guys on Facebook or any social media outlet, the woke dudes, right? But uh, really good guy, man. Uh, we go out, and again, we're, our conversation is surrounding being um, conscious of what's happening to our people here in America as we're have, getting ready for lunch. And, and we go and we sit down for lunch and we're talking. I mean, a beautiful black lady comes up and she's the, the waitress for this afternoon. And um, she tells us her name is Naomi. Gorgeous and her name is Naomi. You know me, I'm flirtatious, so I turn my hat. You know, I try to be smooth with her. I'm just joking or whatever. Uh, but my homeboy gets to telling her about where her name came from. It's like, sweetie, do you know um, the origin of your name? Do you know uh, that you're a queen? Do you know my sister? You know, he, he's giving her praises based on her name and her culture, her skin tone. And she's appreciating it, right? She's smiling and, you know, we flirting and everybody is a good time, right? Well, we sit there, we have a good meal, continue conversation, and we get ready to leave. As we're getting ready to leave, if you know me, I take pride in tipping. Take pride in tipping if you've ever worked anywhere where tips, you got tips. After a couple weeks, you started counting them tips. Don't get it twisted. Um, so because of that, man, I try to, I try to be a consciously good tipper. Well, over the years, I've learned that people kind of expect guys who look like me to tip bad. Different restaurants, part of the reason they don't come readily and excited to serve you has nothing to do with necessarily being a racist, but they kind of look at you and say, yo, is this worth the investment of my effort? At the end of a, all this hard work, is there going to be a reward? And they make those judgments based on what they've already seen and experienced, previous experience. So going back to my homeboy, my, my guy, my mans. As he is empowering people on the culture, as he is inspiring and teaching the young lady who's gorgeous about her own self, about her name and the place in which she comes from, right? Her, her, her origin, if you will. He says, I'm like, bro, you got a couple ones or something? He like, uh, yeah, I got a couple, but you know, I got stuff to do, man. And he puts a $1 bill on the table. And I smiled at myself. Uh, again, I take pride in being a tipper, not just because <laughs> I've needed tips before, but also because I think that's the best representation. Um, for me, being about my culture for the culture is representing my culture in a way that makes other people see my culture differently. That's not necessarily always a good thing, but... I guess the question and the reason for I am dumb and intermission today is, yo, is it better for my culture to educate somebody on their name or to tip them? See, because I think if I tip them well, the next dude that comes in with a beard and polo and some boots on, right? That next dude who comes in, she's going to treat them well, expecting great, right? I think that's for the culture. I think it's a disservice to my culture for me to tip wrong because the rest of the people are going to be like, yo, the next nigga that come looking like him, treat him wrong. I guess if there's a lesson from I Am Dumb today, the lesson would be for myself again, but for everybody. It's yo, if I want to be for the culture, actually be for the culture. 
Man, this information is cool, man. Reading all them books and learning the different things about your history, be it African or other. But what good is being informed about your culture if you can't impact your culture? What good is knowing who I am and the origin of Richard and the tribe that I originally come from, right? What good is it to be in tune with your ancestors? If the nigga next to you looks at you and says, yo, that's not what I need. If the person in front of you says, yo, I just, that's not the type of person I want in my restaurant. That's not the type of person I look forward to serving. I guess if I want to be from my culture, being from my culture is more than just words. It's the act of love. Actively tip your waitress, niggas. But either way, I'm just Richard. And I am certainly dumb as a bitch.